Welcome to ASCE Research Library Basics, a video tutorial brought to you by the VDOT Research Library. Today we'll show you how to find the ASCE Research Library and how to perform a basic database search. The ASCE Research Library is a subscription database that provides VDOT employees instant desktop access to full text articles appearing in 33 ASCE peer-reviewed technical and professional journals from as far back as 1983 to the present in addition to 28,000 ASCE published conference proceeding papers. That's a combined total of more than 80,000 full text online papers with more than 7,000 new papers added every year. The quickest way to get to the library is through Inside VDOT. Our webpage can link you to all the subscription databases and library services you have access to, but today we're going to focus solely on the ASCE Research Library. From the library webpage, click on Research Tools, where you'll see a listing of library databases and other resources. Or, from your web browser, simply type in http colon slash slash ascelibrary.org. Any VDOT employee can access this resource. However, you must be logged on to the VDOT network or be coming in through VPN to get access to full text. There's no registration required to use this database. But in a subsequent video, we'll explore the subscribe feature, which provides you with a free email alert service for the tables of contents of new journal issues. We'll also look at the My Tools personalization features, which lets you organize and save ASCE articles and other publications you found. But for now, we're just looking at where this resource is located and the basics of how it works. The default screen shows you the quick search feature, which allows you to specify whether you want to search journal articles, conference proceedings, or all papers. Right below that, you see that you have the option to browse content in the database by journals, conference proceedings, or EJCDC contract documents. We'll go into what these categories mean and how to search them in subsequent videos. You may have noticed that there's an advanced search link right here. The advanced search gives you powerful search features should you need them. But for now, let's get started with quick search. We'll try a simple search on the word VDOT. The search tool is not case sensitive, but it does look for that specific term. So you notice that when the search results come back, at the top it says displaying records 1 to 25 of about 63 found out of 83,552. On the left hand side, you'll notice that it shows you your quick search was run against the full bibliographic record, or all fields including the author, title, abstract, etc. If you wanted to, you could refine your search criteria by putting in new terms or by simply using the pick list to specify what field you wanted to limit your search to. Instead, let's see how to get the full text of an article. Looking at the first few, I noticed they're all authored by VDOT employees, which may be where our search term showed up. Right here I see VCTIR research scientists Alex and Brian who were mentioned just yesterday in the Commissioner's Action Update for their initiative in publishing this very article. Way to go, guys! Okay, if I want to see more, I can click on the plus sign next to Show Summary, which basically shows me the abstract. You probably know that clicking on Download PDF will do just that, but let me show you a pitfall that may be confusing to you. If you click on the title to view the complete record, you'll see the full record. But you'll also see some confusing messages like log in or select a purchase option. This is what anyone searching the web from home might find when they go to the ASCE site, which is publicly accessible, as opposed to VDOT employees whose computers will be automatically recognized as authorized subscribers with unlimited full text access. So here's a hint. If you're searching for an article online and it looks like you're being asked for money, stop and contact the library. You might have free full text access since we've paid for your subscription. And even if you don't, our interlibrary loans and document delivery services can probably get you the article you need without any cost to you or your division. Okay, if I were to click on Login to Download PDF under Select a Purchase option, you'll see that you neither need to log in nor purchase anything. The PDF you need will come right up. If you tried this from home, unless you were logged into the VDOT network through VPN, it would not. So that wording is a little bit confusing. If I were back on the quick search option, I'd see that the download PDF link was pretty obvious. That does the same thing and is really far more intuitive. It's a relief to know that VDOT employees no longer have to maintain expensive subscriptions to print journals 
from ASCE or other publishers. And whether you're telecommuting or simply prefer the convenience of full text online access at your desktop, your library is helping you connect to the right information to keep you productive. If you have any questions about this or other full text online databases, contact Ken Winter at the VDOT Research Library.